shit to anybody. And that's something until you fucking discover that, you will never have this shit figured out. You will never actualize that person you wanna be because the person you're chasing is there right fucking now. It's just in the process of fucking molding. All right, so pay attention to what I'm doing with my feet, I'm putting them all the way at the bottom so I can get the most amount of knee bend. Um, slowing down the tempo too. This is my first week back, so I'm leaving a few reps in the tank. I wanna play it on the safe side and not fucking push too close to failure. But don't bang this bitch. People, people do this shit wrong and they fucking bang it at the bottom. You wanna come all the way down, but you wanna touch it soft to the fucking handles. Same fucking idea. Leaving three reps in the tank. My bench strength definitely got worse. Um, doing a little bit of a pause on every rep. I don't fuck with that bouncing shit. Um, everybody in here must be unemployed because this is the most packed I've seen a commercial gym at 12:30. Oh shit! It's Labor Day. My bad. I'm dumb as fuck. Labor Day, would have came in here at like 6 a.m. if I fucking remember. I'm about to get this last set. Same thing, three reps in the tank. Um, trying to round my back on every rep, get that extra stretch, and then bring it up under control. I mean, we're not doing super strict form here, but you get the fucking point. doing this shit with the cheap form, but I'm not doing that shit today. I'll be walking out of here on a fucking stretcher with the way my back is right now. They call this shit, right? They call this shit reverse blowjob resistance training. But you gotta work your fucking neck. You know, if you're sitting at a fucking chair all day and you're like, you're fucking all hunched over, you're gonna have that fucking scoliosis head with your fucking chin protruding forward like a fucking turtle. So we can't be having that shit. 
you got to work both sides of the neck. can't give a fuck about anybody looking at you when you're recording or anybody looking at you while you're fucking talking to the microphone. You just got to stop giving a fuck because motherfuckers will look at you, motherfuckers will walk in your shot, motherfuckers will look at you all fucking angry. That's, how you, that's just how you know they got a small dick. Fuck it, I'll, I'll be the one to say it. All right, fellas, what's good? I'm doing this one completely off the top of the head. I always do these off the top of the head, but you know, I'm feeling good. Um, I didn't put any thought into this one. You know, I just had this idea come to my head and I wanted to give it to you guys. So I was in the, in the gym and I was doing that workout today. I told myself I was gonna do a mic'd up workout and I went ahead and did it. And that's, uh, that's something I've done before, but I'm not really comfortable with it. I don't like, you know, it, it's a weird dynamic when you're in the gym, everybody else is quiet, got their headphones in and you're talking and you gotta, you know, if you're not, if you don't say it with your fucking chest, the mic won't pick up on you. Um, and you just sound like a fucking scared little bitch. But, you know, when you say it loud enough and especially if you try and show some personality into it, motherfuckers are gonna look at you. And people in the gym were looking at me. I didn't give a fuck. Um, people in the gym were looking at me mad. I had this one old Asian dude looking at me like, and his eyes squinted so fucking hard, you would have thought they were fucking closed. All right, no offense. But I had fucking other, a couple other old dudes looking at me. Man, I don't give a fuck, right? And you gotta remind yourself that every day. And I just wanted to make this 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 video about how to cut people off and how, how how to cut friends off, how to cut people who don't accept you off. Cause I think a lot of us get caught up in this self-improvement shit because we wanna prove ourselves to somebody else, right? I gotta prove myself to these women. I gotta get my physique better and then I'll have the fucking upper hand. I gotta get my room, my money right and then I'll have the upper hand. I gotta get this shit right and then I'll feel more confident about myself. And if I do this, then I'm gonna get to that point and then I'm gonna feel better about myself. And then, and then, and then, and it never fucking ends. It never fucking ends. That's something I've been dwelling on myself these last couple days, just having more time to think to myself, taking more walks, is I've been working so fucking hard. And yeah, part of it has been financially, but another part of it has been me trying to prove myself to other fucking people, right? Because I'm not making money off these YouTube videos. I've been, I've been working so fucking hard because, you know, Part of it because I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I wasn't, I was lacking something. I felt like I was lacking something. Like I'm not good enough. Like I don't have money, so I gotta put in this extra work to prove myself. And I gotta show my parents that I'm working hard. I gotta show my peers that I'm working hard. I gotta show everybody on YouTube that I'm out working all these other fucking YouTubers. And it just had me thinking, you don't need to do shit to prove shit to anybody. And that's something until you fucking discover that, you will never have this shit figured out. You will never actualize that person you wanna be because the person you're chasing is there right fucking now. It's just in the process of fucking molding. 
you are that person right now, but you are in the process just because you don't have the fucking money, just because you don't have the fucking women, just because you don't have the fucking friendships, doesn't mean you can't have the fucking mentality of that person. And how the fuck do you expect to get those things if you don't have that mentality first? Bro, this is, this is something more personal. I moved to fucking Austin, Texas to get away from everything, right? I can say as much as I want, it was to get new opportunities, but in actuality, it wasn't really about getting new opportunities. It wasn't about adding shit in, it was about taking shit out. It was about getting away from the people who I felt like were just throwing me negative energy. Maybe it was all in my head. Maybe I'm painting it out to be something that it's not, and I'm sure that's what they say. And this is gonna sound incredibly conceited, coming from somebody that has made a lot of fuck ups. I've been a bad sibling to, to my two sisters. I've been a bad fucking child a lot of the times to my two fucking parents. I've been a bad friend to a lot of my, my, my older friends. Right? I got a fucking kid that one of my one of my old friends, man, I was such a fucking piece of shit. I threw a bottle at this kid's at this kid's head because I was mad at something about he said about me. I threw a, I threw a fucking bottle, man. I could have I could have seriously hurt this kid. And and if he's watching this video, you know, I'm sorry, bro. That that is a scenario that still lives on in my head. And that is something that cannot be fucking justified ever. And I don't, I don't expect any sort of fucking condolences, but I'm just putting it out there just because I'm being honest. I've been a fucking shithead. I've been a dickhead. I've been an asshole. I got other friends who have done a lot for me and I've, I've, I've been a piece of shit towards them. That being said, I felt like I had to get away from those people. I felt like I had to get away from my family members because I don't think they saw the vision or they didn't really believe in it. I had to get away from them because some of them don't like me for the person I am. A lot of my family members, my closest family, my immediate family and my extended family do not fuck with the YouTube channel, do not fuck with what I'm saying, Finn, you're controversial, Finn, you're, you're, I don't agree with what you're saying, I don't like the person you are, I don't like the person you're turning into, this and that. Man, I had to cut those people off. Was I in the wrong? Maybe. Did I do shit for them to for 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 them to justify looking at me that way? Maybe. Did I do shit for my friends to justify them not treating me the way I felt like I should be treated? I don't know. Maybe I did. But that doesn't change the fact that two rights don't make a wrong. And you can't, you can't accept anybody into your life. You can't, you can't let that get to you. If they don't accept you for the person who you are, then fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck who it is. If they can't fucking accept you, you need to cut those people out. You cannot give a fuck about what anybody thinks. And that's a lot of our problems. We go trying to prove ourselves to our friends. We go try and prove ourselves to our family members. We try and prove ourselves to fucking damn near everybody.
that right there is your fucking problem. Because that type of mindset right there had me feeling like I was always lacking. That type of mindset there had me doing bitch shit. Had me doing shit to get sympathy points from other people. Had me acting feminine. Look, a real fucking man is gonna go his own way no matter what, no matter what he did wrong. If people can't accept you for the person you are, you need to cut them out. And that's a tough pill to swallow. That was a, that, that was a very tough thing for me to do, was to cut the people in my life closest to me, the people that I thought were gonna be there from day one. Getting away from all that shit. Because if you feel like you're, you're having to prove shit to somebody, or you're feeling like such and such is not gonna accept you, or is not accepting you, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Man, that was tough for me to do because a lot of a lot of people I felt like, you know, what I did maybe have justified how they viewed me or how they treated me. But it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Because all you can do at the end of the day is move on. Two rights, do, two wrongs don't make a right. And I just want to, I want to share this message with you guys because if I did that shit, if I cut all these people out and moved to a new city where I knew I was going to be alone, I knew I was going to be isolated. I knew it was going to take time for me to settle in. I knew my mental health might take a hit, but it was all for the better. If I could do that shit, then you guys could stop feeling like you have to do shit for the people around you. Like you have to prove yourself. Let me tell you, bro. You don't have to prove shit to anybody. You do not have to prove shit to anybody. Fuck self-improvement. Fuck getting better. You have it in you right now. You have everything you need. You have you are equipped with all the fucking tools you need to make this shit happen. It's all in your fucking mindset. It's all in feeling like you're fucking worthy of this shit. Because a lot of us men do not feel like we are worthy because all the world has done has been, no, nah, you're not good enough yet. You're not good enough. And that's what they try and reinforce in us. Be humble. Be kind. You deserve this. You deserve this. At a certain point as a man, you gotta put your fucking foot down and you gotta bet on yourself. You gotta believe in yourself and you gotta say that I am worthy of everything I believe I am. And until you accept that, you will never become that person you wanna be. You will always feel like you're lacking something. A lot of you will fall into this productivity hack into this productivity trap, this self-improvement trap. Fuck that shit. Because when you're trying to always improve yourself, that implies to yourself whether you want to accept it or not. You are you are telling yourself that you are lacking something. You are telling yourself that you are lacking something. And the thing about our brains is our brains will always find the problem. You could be the most, you could be the, you could, you could do everything fucking perfectly and, and, and you will still be told that you are wrong and you will fucking believe it because your brain will literally look for flaws about yourself. 
in society does not like to see masculine men. It's not promoted in today's society. It is not promoted to go your own way. It is not promoted to do things that might be controversial. It is not promoted to bet on yourself, believe in yourself, and feel confident in yourself. It's only promoted when you do it the way they want it. For a lot of us, we don't fucking fall in that box. We don't fall in the box of what they want us to be. And you can't fucking change that. So why the fuck are you gonna continually try and fit in that fucking box? You will never fit in the fucking box. You will never live up to their expectations. So you need to start living up to the person you are now. You gotta start fucking believing in yourself and you gotta start feeling like you have everything you need. You gotta stop feeling like, man, if I just put on a little bit more muscle, I'll be able to get some women. Man, if I just improve my mental health a little bit, I'll be more confident and I'll have more uh, friendships in my life. Man, if I just get a little bit more money, fuck that. Play to your fucking strengths. Play to your fucking strengths. You have something that these other motherfuckers do not have. But they won't tell you that because they don't want you to know. That was a tough fucking pill for me to swallow. Is to recognize I don't need to improve for anybody. I don't need to do this shit just to make this person happy, no matter who the fuck they are. As long as I'm doing what I know I need to be doing, that's the only thing that matters. Doesn't matter what he thinks, doesn't matter what my mom thinks, doesn't matter what my dad thinks, doesn't matter what my sisters think, doesn't matter what my cousins think, doesn't matter what my fucking best friends think. It doesn't matter. And at some point, you gotta start telling yourself that otherwise you will never feel like you are worthy of this shit and they will never be able to tell you that. They will never tell you that. They will never allow you to think that. They don't want to see men who are confident and who do not fit in that box. They don't want to see men who go their own way. They do not want to see men who do controversial shit. But if that's all a part of you, that's all you can do. Unless you wanna live in a fucking box the rest of your life. Unless you wanna feel like you're never worthy. Unless you wanna feel like no matter how much you have, you're never satisfied. Unless you wanna always be doing shit to prove shit to motherfuckers. You gotta start accepting yourself for who you are. You gotta carry a chip on your shoulder. Doesn't mean you gotta think you're right all the time. It just means you gotta be able to have the self-acceptance to recognize when you, when you are wrong, but you can still accept yourself for that. Recognize that your fucking flaws and your mistakes don't define you. And you don't have to change that shit. And there's nothing you can do to change it anyways. That's it, man. Don't feel like you have to prove shit to anybody.